Hey guys, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, video number 58. What's up? In the last video, we, um, I think we arrived here at uh, Pacific Log Town. And, uh, just kind of explored the town. We went back to the secret shore and established a new secret base for myself. Remember, my old one used to be there on Route 115. So I've now established one there on the secret shore, which is, uh, just off of Route 129. And the nice thing about Secret Shore is that you can fly directly there. Um, just like I did here to the Secret Meadow. Um, I meant to... I should have done this in the last video. Um, I didn't think I had time because I was already past the 20 minute mark, but by the time I sped up the battles, um, it was only like 16 minutes, so I definitely had time. But anyway, um, I'm just checking out the bases here to see if, you know, the layout of one of these is better than the one I had. Um, I had been looking for one where you could create like, you know, two levels because I had those stairs that, and I wanted to use them. So I was looking for a base, you know, where I could put up the stairs and have two levels and I found one of those over there on the secret shore, so that's good. Anyway, checking out the three secret bases here, um, not really too much in the way of cool layouts, so I think for now I'll go ahead and uh, stick with the secret base over on the secret shore. Anyway, while we're just kind of flying around and stuff, um, I'm going to run over to the secret shore real quick. Uh, I wanted to quickly go over the answer to my question of the day from uh, Friday's video. I uploaded a video last, I actually uploaded two videos on Friday. Video 56, I asked the question, or I said, hey, it's Friday. Do you have any plans for the week end? And the um, only one who answered was Master54001. He says, I will just do what I feel like doing, uh, like playing outside, doing homework, playing games, etc., etc." So, yeah, that was the only answer I had. What did I do? Um, I didn't really do much. Saturday was kind of rainy, so I stayed inside all day. Um, I watched the golf tournament. And then Sunday, Sunday was a nice day. Yesterday was a nice day. I did some work out in the yard and I like went for a hike and also watched the golf tournament. So yeah. Once, as soon as I finish narrating this video, I'm going to go for a hike too. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my secret base right there. And Monka, who is uh, like my only buddy or pal that I have for as far as secret bases go. Um, as of now, I talked to her, and she will level up my Pokemon, one of my Pokemon, by one level, which is awesome. She'll level up one Pokemon by one level once a day. So. Anyway, after we, you know, caught Kyogre and all that, uh, Steven gave us the Eon Flute, which allows us to do this, which is, like, really freaking awesome. So I'm, I'm flying around, and the reason I'm flying around is because I'm trying to go somewhere that I wasn't able to get to before. And I was playing Omega Ruby last night, just kind of familiarizing myself with what's to come. And I found Mirage Island while I was soaring, and it was actually right around here that I found it on uh, Omega Ruby. It was like right around this area. So when I got here and I realized, oh wow, it's not there, um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to think. So, yeah, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do a little lap around Hoenn here and take a look at everything. There's Seafloor Cavern, or not Seafloor Cavern, a uh, Shoal Cave right uh, beneath me. There's Victory Road right there. Oh, there's something right there. I don't know what that is. It's definitely something. On the bottom screen, I should have showed you guys the bottom screen, but there's a little map that shows me like where I am and where I'm flying to. Oh wait, is that it? Here it is. Oh, so it's in a different place this time. I can tell because it's got the little red star above it. Now, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if it's in a different place because it's a different day or if it's in a different place because it's a different game. Like, I wonder if its location changes from day to day. Or if its location is just different because this is a different game. Hmm. I'll have to bust out Omega Ruby later today and uh, see what that looks like. Anyway, here's Mirage Island. 
the Mirage Island on Omega Ruby, I was able to find a uh, couple of shards. I think I found a red shard and a yellow shard. So we'll see what kind of items are available for me here. One of them was hidden, and one of them, you know, you could actually see. A big pearl. All right, a big pearl. That's cool. So this is following kind of the same MO as the last one. One hidden item and one non-hidden item. I don't know what the non-hidden item is yet because I haven't gotten to it. We'll see what Pokemon they have here. It's a ditto! And as you can see in here, I'm uh, also speeding up the wild Pokemon encounters. I do this a lot, just like run into a wild Pokemon and then run away from it. So I might miss one or two, so hopefully that won't annoy you guys too much. If I miss one or two, I mean, like, I might forget that it's there and forget to speed it up, so, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Here's a Muna. Do you remember, um, what Wallace said about, oh, guess what? There are, like, new Pokemon coming after the whole thing with Kyogre. So, yeah, Muna is the first of the, uh, you know, kind of new Pokemon that we'll be able to find here. Now, I don't remember if Ditto was in the Hoenn decks or not, but, you know, maybe it was. When I'm into Mirage Island in Omega Ruby last night, it, w it looked completely different from this. It was actually a cave. And uh, when I went inside the cave, I found a, uh, I, think it's, I think it's called Clink, the Pokemon that's just like the two gears, the steel type, it's just like two gears. I think it's called Clink. Um, but I know like its evolution is like Clean Clang, and it's like, that evolution is like, like, Clankosaurus, or I don't know, it's, it's some strange like thing, but that's what I found there, Clink. That was the only one I found because I didn't stick around for too long. There's a rare candy, that's awesome. Let's see, we got something rustling here. Let's see what that is. Oh. It's a ditto. <clears throat> okay. We'll, 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 uh, go up to it. Why not? You know? Why not? I know in the last video I said that I was also gonna go to Sky Pillar, or... Yeah, Sky Pillar, right? That's what it's called. I always get Sky Pillar and Spear Pillar confused. But it, I, it's Sky Pillar. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to Sky Pillar just yet. Can't really do anything there right now. So, and if you don't believe me, um, wait till video number 60 and I'll prove it that you can't do anything right now. Because that's how far I've played video 60. I played three videos today because uh, this is so far kind of shaping up to be a busy week going forward. So, I s I'm still going to try and get videos up Tuesday and Wednesday. But, uh, you know, since if I already have them played, it'll just be a lot easier for me to just go in and narrate them. I might also go ahead and uh, edit them down, you know, speed up the battles today and all that. Just so that tomorrow on Wednesday, all I have to do is talk. <clears throat> Here we are in Little Root Town. How about that? Um, I'm get, I'm decided I'm gonna come over here to Professor Birch and get the National Dex update. I'm trying to think. I don't. I think this is the first time that you've ever been able to get the National Dex update before actually defeating the Elite Four, which will act might actually come in really handy for me in Omega Ruby since, um, I've actually defeated the all eight gym leaders in Omega Ruby, but I still don't have a full team. I only have five Pokemon on my team, so. Uh, the fact that we can have access to all these new different Pokemon now might help me in putting together a team in, in Omega Ruby. Here's my question of the day for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now my team in Omega Ruby, and I want you guys' uh, opinion as to who my uh, sixth and final team member should be in Omega Ruby, okay? So I've got um, Swampert, I've got a Swampert, I've got Breloom, I've got Mantric. I've got Metagross, 
and I've got uh, Banet. So, um, as you guys know, I always like to try and have different types and not repeat types on my team. So, uh, with that in mind, who do you think my uh, sixth Pokemon should be in my Omega Ruby uh, game? Uh, let me know. Answer in the comments, and I'll, uh, you know, go over your answers in the next video. I did something really dumb yesterday. Um, I was playing Omega Ruby, and I, I got to the point, um, if you remember me saying I, I got a little bit ahead of myself in this game, in Omega Ruby. So I got to the point where, you know, you go down into the seafloor cavern, and you're about to free Kyogre and whatnot. So I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to record this and uh, post it to YouTube. Since, you know, I did the old Alpha Sapphire, I thought it'd be cool to be able to post the Kyogre event. As w or, not not Kyogre. The Groudon event as well. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll do this. So I went down there in the seafloor cavern and Maxi, you know, freed Groudon. And I flew over to Sutopolis and went to the Cave of Origin and was battling Groudon. And, and something came up. I had to stop for whatever reason. And instead of saving the the video I deleted the video I deleted the entire video and I was oh I was so sad that I ended up doing that so anyway yeah I I deleted the video and I don't know how to get it back it's not in my recycle bin it's like I deleted it before I actually like like rendered or, or finished recording it so, yeah, the, as far as I know, there's no way to save that video. So, um, sorry about that. I know, uh, I know you probably weren't expecting to see that from me anyway, but, um, you know, I thought that would have been really cool. Anyway, we're here on my, uh, favorite of all the Pokemon routes in all the games. And by favorite, I mean I hate this route so much. This route sucks. Uh, this is routes. That's actually three routes. Routes 132 through 134. And um, typically, you know what I like to do is it, on stretches like this that contain more than one route, I do one when I get to where one turns into the other. I stop the video there. I do the other in another video. But uh, the way all these currents are set up and the way this route is set up, I'm not even going to do it that way. I'm just gonna. I'm going to be going back and forth for the next like this video and the next two videos just going back and forth from Pacific Log to the uh, end of Route 134 just you know trying to make sure I, I get to everyone anyway um, when I came down here I was really just kind of trying to survey the currents I I got caught up in one earlier than I meant to I I meant to go across the top of the route but instead I'm going across the bottom so, um, yeah. Anyway, in this video, or for the remainder of this video, we're going to go across the bottom of uh, routes 132 to 34. There's a TM there, but it looks like I can't get to it, which sucks. Alright, well, we've uh, crossed over into route 133 now. Uh, really only one trainer on the bottom of Route 132. I'm going to go read this sign. I don't know if in order to fly here you have to actually read the sign or if all you really have to do is just like, you know, show up on that route and then you can fly there. I don't know. But I always read the sign just in case because I really, 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 really like the fact that you can fly to roots now even though I haven't quite gotten used to it and like know what I'm doing with it but. um anyway while we're doing this uh just a little bit of news here I don't know if I have any uh who watches my videos who lives in Germany but if I do uh, just letting you know that a shiny Charizard is going to be made available at GameStop stores in Germany and I uh, just want to go over the uh, um, the details, the deets, if you will. Here I am battling a bird keeper. 
Uh, in Germany, code cards for Shiny Charizard will be distributed at GameStop stores from April 1st, alright, April 1st, which is in like a week, uh, to July 3rd, 2015. The Charizard can be obtained in PAL region Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. While code cards will not be officially distributed until later, uh, some players were able to obtain codes early and have already been able to redeem them. Uh, Charizard knows the moves Overheat, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and Hold Hands. And it is holding the Charizardite Y. So, yeah, Shiny Charizard going to be available from GameStops starting April 1st. Mayfly was hurled into the air, but he don't care. Hurled into the air, don't care. What? Manetric. Wednesday. His last two level ups have been thanks to Monka and my secret base. That might be something I have to like do like more often is go to the secret base and have her train up one of my Pokemon by level. You know what I mean? Invitation for a Pokemon Battle Backpacker Grayson sends out your referee. I'm like, go, Umaga! And Umaga's like, brah. He uses Fake Out, Flinches, Double Hits. I'm lucky he used Double Hit and not some Psychic type move. Knockout Super Effect, or Knock Off is super effective, so uh, that takes out the Giraffe Rig. Nice. Okay, not really much more to do here. Let me make sure I'm not missing out on any items over here. Uh, no. No, okay. No, I'm not going to use a repel because... Honestly... Yeah, I just don't need to. I'm on the currents. No one's going to run into me here on the current. Anything here? Nope. Route 134. Route 133. This is the crossover from 34 to 30 or from 33 to 34 right here. Oh, check it out, a dive spot. Oh, and it's gonna tease me. Like it's gonna it's gonna like take me kinda close to the dive spot and then it's gonna take me away. Ugh. What a tease you are, a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, what a tease. There's a couple of islands over here that have trainers. There's a guy with a cape. I can't get to him from here, though. Um, yeah, this is the end of it, isn't it? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, what? Tentacool. Don't need no tentacool. I, act I think I actually have a tentacool. That's, like, part of the reason why I don't need no tentacool. Um, I'll go ahead and use Super Repel so I don't run into any more. Um, yeah, they're all coming this way. There's no way I can go back. Well, then I'll just go this way toward uh, Slateport City. See? Slateport City. Told you. Not sure what that was all about. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and buy some more Super Repels. Um... I think I only have like 14. Oh. Yeah, I have 14. So I will buy 36. To give me an even 50. Alright. Well, um. So we, we've gone across the. the the southern portion of routes 132 through 34. In the next video, we'll go across the northern portion and see what we find up there. And then the video after that, we'll just kind of hit all the places that we weren't able to hit. You know, basically the middle. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, answer the question of the day. See you next time.
Bye.